Hey everyone, how are you doing today? Huh? Huh? That's awesome. I hope you're doing awesome. So today in this video, what we're going to talk about is the EPR, the estimated power required for our loudspeakers, for our loudspeakers to function and get us the sound we need, get us all the audios that we need to our ear holes. We have to do a little bit of maths. Maths. I said maths for those of you in the UK. You know, I got it right. So uh, we're going to look at our EPR calculation, our estimated power required, and I'm going to talk about some of the things that go on with this EPR calculation, hopefully make this daunting, this big daunting equation look a little bit easier. So, in our EPR calculation, first variable we have, LP, LP, and that's going to be the sound pressure level that we need to hear. Now, a few videos ago, I did a thing on how loud should my audio system be? 25 to 30 dB above ambient noise. That is loud enough, 25 to 30 dB above ambient. So I wanna make sure I take my ambient noise reading and then do my 25 to 30 dB calculation, 25 to 30 above that, and that is going to be my LP, sound pressure level required at the distance from the loudspeaker to my ear holes. And I say from the loudspeaker to my ear holes because it just depends on the environment. Am I sitting in this environment where my ear holes are gonna be approximately 48 inches or 1.2 meters above the ground? Or am I standing in this environment? Now my ear holes are higher than that. And sound is going to travel down, and as it travels down, it loses energy. So we need to figure out where the sound's gonna meet our ear holes. So, sound pressure level required at the distance. Headroom, headroom. What kind of content am I going to be putting through my sound system? Is it just going to be speech talk? Is it going to be some program audio? And we're going to talk about the different headroom requirements for speech talk and program audio. <clears throat> LS, LS, loudspeaker sensitivity, loudspeaker sensitivity. This I get from the spec sheet, the spec of the loudspeaker. You can look in our loudspeaker spec sheets and it says something like 91 dB at one meter. 91 dB at one meter with one watt. That means my reference is one meter or 3.28 feet at one watt. If I put one watt of sound through this loudspeaker and it's usually at a given frequency, usually in the frequency that that loudspeaker is meant for. So if I put one watt of power into this loudspeaker at say 2K and I take my SPL meter and measure it one meter away, I will get a certain a certain pressure, a certain volume level from this loudspeaker, a certain sound pressure level. So 91 dB with one watt at one meter would be the loudspeaker sensitivity. We want to factor that in. D2, the distance from the loudspeaker to the furthest listener. So my loudspeaker is mounted in the ceiling. That loudspeaker down to my ear hole level, whether it's seated or standing, that is D2, the different, the distance from the loudspeaker to the listener. If you're in an a environment where you have, say, a program loudspeaker mounted on the wall or some type of loudspeaker mounted on the wall and it's aiming to uh, a, an audience area, I would take that D2, distance from the loudspeaker to the furthest listener, I would take that from my wall loudspeaker all the way to the back row. That's how I would measure that, that uh, variable. DR, the distance reference value. Now, remember when we looked at that loudspeaker sensitivity, that reference value is 3.28 feet or one meter. 3.28 feet or one meter. So that will be our distance reference. And then the wattage reference, what we took off that loudspeaker sensitivity of one watt, one watt. So I'm gonna take 10 to the power of all of those variables we just went over loudspeaker or the sound pressure level required plus headroom minus the loudspeaker sensitivity plus now here it says d 20 log d2 divided by d reference so d2 say my loudspeaker is mounted in a ceiling that's 10 feet tall 10 feet tall and my ear holes i'm sitting Let's go off camera to get my stool real quick. Now I'm sitting in a chair and my ear holes are four feet, 48 inches or 1.2 meters above the ground, four feet. I'm gonna do this in feet, sorry guys, in the UK, it's just easier for my, my, my brain to function like that. Sorry guys in Europe, South America, everywhere else but the US. Um, so 
10 foot ceiling, four foot ear holes. That means I have six feet of distance between my loudspeaker and my ear holes. So, D2, the diff distance from the loudspeaker to the listener, divided by DR, the reference. So I would do six feet divided by 3.28 feet. Pull up my handy dandy calculator real quick. And I get, let's see if I can get this up here so you can see it. Six divided by 3.28. 1.829, blah, 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 blah. So then I would get my logarithmic part of that by that answer. And I would get 5.2455, et cetera, et cetera. So for here, 20 log, D2, the distance from my loudspeaker to my ear hole, six feet, divided by the reference, 3.28 feet. I got 1.829268293, et cetera, et cetera. 20 log that number, and I got 5.2455481333, et cetera, et cetera. So let's take my sound pressure level required. So here, don't forget that number, 5.2455. Five, five. Uh, in fact, I'll just keep it on the calculator here so I remember. That's this part. Then I get my sound pressure level required. This room, I measured this room the other day in my other video, and it's about 41 dB. So I'm going to shoot for 25 to 30. To make my math easy, I'm just going to go 30. So let's go 41 plus 30. I need 71 dB. 71 dB of sound for my overall listening level. Now, 71 dB plus my headroom required, plus the required headroom for my task. Now, for speech from my mouth hole, if I'm just broadcasting speech out of my audio system, speech is not a constant thing. It's not like I talk like a robot. Speech goes up and down. The variation of uh, amplitude in my voice goes from really, really low, sometimes I'm a soft target, to really, really loud when I get emphatic. So I need a little bit of headroom there to get those louds. So for headroom, for speech, I'm going to add in 10 dB, 10 dB, plus 10 dB for speech. So 71 plus 10 is going to give me 81 dB. For program audio, for program audio, any kind of uh, electronically generated audio that's going to come through. So if I'm, if I'm watching a movie uh, and, you know, you have the hero whispering sweet nothings into the heroine's ear and it's all quiet and then all of a sudden... Stuff starts blowing up around him, and I got to go back to like hooking and jabbing and saving the princess or whatever, or prince, depending on, you know. Um, I, I, I need to have that big dynamic range of, of available sound. So for program audio, I need 20 dB of headroom. 20. 20. With jazz hands, 20. So 10 dB for speech, 20 dB for program. And I would factor that in there with my headroom. So I'm just going to do this calculation for speech. 71 dB listening level, 10 dB for headroom. Now I have 81 dB, 81. Now my loudspeaker sensitivity, loudspeaker sensitivity. This is uh, one of those really important parts of the thing, of the equation. My loudspeaker, if I look on the loudspeaker specs and I find a loudspeaker that is 90 dB at one watt, at one meter, 90 dB at one watt at one meter. So I gotta take that away. So first I have 71 dB plus 10, 81 dB, take away 90 dB. So now I'm left with negative nine dB, negative nine dB. Now I gotta add that negative nine dB to my 5.245548 thing we said before, right? So I have my 5.2455, negative nine. I have negative 3.75, So negative 3.75, let's just call it negative 3.75, divided by 10, I'm gonna divide that by 10. Point, negative 0.375, so I want to go 10 to the power of 
negative 0.375. So I go 10, let's get it up here again. 10, and a little carrot, duke, right there, there's a little carrot right there. Oh, hold on. Oh, wait, screwed that up. Make sure I'm in the right mode. Gotta make sure I'm in the right mode. Uh, enter. Clear. Okay. So, I got 10 to the power of, oh, let me show you. 10 to the power of, and there's my little carrot, 0.375. Whoop, it was negative 0.375. Negative 0 0.375. 0 0.42169, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, what that means for that loudspeaker, 90 dB at one watt at one meter. With a distance, the loudspeaker's on a 10-foot ceiling. I'm sitting, my ear holes are at four feet. I've got six feet between us. For speech, speech with headroom of 10 dB. Loudspeaker sensitivity is 90 dB, one watt, one meter. I use my one meter for my reference. I can multiply by one if I need to. 0. 0.421 times one is 0. 0.421. You don't need the calculator for that, do you? No, okay. Um, so, the estimated power required for me to get listening level of 71 dB uh, uh, average with 10 dB at headroom from this loudspeaker that does 90 dB at one watt, I only need 0.42, like half, just under half a watt. That's half a watt. That's like watt without the two Ts. So, I don't really need to crank it up. Now, let's try the same loudspeaker, the same distance, and I'm going to do program audio. I need to go from 10 dB a headroom to 20 dB a headroom. So let's do this here. So my listening level is going to be 71 plus 20. That's 91 dB. Negative, my loudspeaker sensitivity of 90 dB. Now I have one, one, and let's hold on to that one. Keep that one in your pocket for a second. I have 20 log for the other part of my calculation, and my distance from the loudspeaker to my ear holes is going to be six feet, divided by the reference, 3.28 feet, which gives me 5.24 plus one, that one we had in our pocket, Gives me 6.24558133. We're going to divide that by 10. 0.624. And now I go 10. Little carrot to the power of. My answer. Gives me 4.21264422. So. Now. Well, that was kind of weird. If I'm just doing speech that had 10 dB of headroom, I only needed 0.42 of a watt. But if I kicked it up 10 dB, now I need 4.2 watts. 10 times that. Makes you think about how logarithms work, right? But that's a video for another day. So, what we're talking about Loudspeaker wattage required. I have my sound pressure level, 71 dB. My headroom, 10 or 20, depending on your content, on your task. My loudspeaker sensitivity, in this case it was 90 dB, measured at 1 watt, at 1 meter, or 3.28 feet. Distance from the loudspeaker to my ear holes, 10 foot ceiling, 4 foot ear holes, I have 6 feet of distance. Distance reference value up here, 3.28 feet or 1 meter. Wattage reference, that one watt that we tested our loudspeaker at, I throw that all into a, a food processor, bake it around just like this, and I'll make sure I put this uh, equation up here so you can go over it several times. Drop in different variables. Switch out your loudspeakers. Go online into the search engines and type in a loudspeaker you uh, have used. Uh, manufacture XYZ's 
number XX and you type it in and look for that loudspeaker sensitivity measured at one watt, one meter. Uh, and, and throw those variables around. Do it for speech. Do it for program. Do it for the Gipper. And figure out what your listening level is in your room. Take an SPL measure, uh, measurement of the room that you're in. Put that in there. Figure out, hey, if it's 35 dB ambient noise, how does that affect? Do it for 25 dB. Do it for 30 dB. Do it for the fun of it. And do this loudspeaker calculation over and over and over again until you get it down pat in your nugget. And then after you do all that, when somebody comes up and says, how much sound should we have in this room? Boom. You can write that up. You can say here. And it's really cool when you actually pull out a calculator and start doing calculations and don't just give your opinion and you can do an equation, you end up with the same quantifiable results. You end up with the same way you do things and you get really good at it. There's no guesswork in it. There's no, I think it should be this loud. There's an equation for it. So, uh, Hopefully you enjoyed our little time together here talking about the estimated power required for our loudspeaker. Also, if you go to the Avixa Learning Channel on YouTube, Cartoon Tom has another good EPR video. He shows you the calculator and everything. I'm going to make sure I drop some of these slides on the video and go forth and calculate the estimated power required for your loudspeaker. Talk to you all later.